Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I'm going to be doing an updated 10 for life video. So um, I think I've done this type of video in the past, but I haven't done one for a really long time. So, and recently somebody asked me about doing a, like a five for life video. So I couldn't quite get it down to five <laughs> and I barely got it down to 10. I've got two honorable mentions in here. So I cheated it just a little bit, but um, yeah, these are all of the fragrances that that when I went through my collection, these are the ones that I would not be able to live without. I could live without everything else, but I would have to have these. So um, I'm just gonna jump right in. The first one that I knew I could not live without was my replica by the fireplace. Um, this is a fragrance that I have worn. This is a fragrance I've worn for years now, at least four or five years now and I love it. It's beautiful. It's everything I love in a fragrance. It's one of my favorite winter fragrances. It's slightly sweet. It's smoky. It's woody. It's vanillic. It's just everything that I love in a fragrance. So by the fireplace is cloves, pink pepper, orange blossom, chestnut, guyac wood, juniper, vanilla, peru balsam, and cashmere in. And it's gorgeous. And you can definitely smell the oud in here, but it's like the most tame oud I think I've ever smelled. It's it's noticeable and it's there, but it's not overpowering. It's just gorgeous. So that is Replica by the Fireplace. The next one will be no surprise to any of you. This is a fragrance that I absolutely will not be able to live without in my collection. And that is Stella, even in the new form. It, I wouldn't care what form it was in as long as I had it in my collection. I have to have Stella. It's my favorite rose perfume I've ever smelled. It was my signature scent for years. I've been through so many bottles of it and I just adore it. I have a bottle of the original formulation coming that I found on eBay. It just hasn't gotten here yet. Um, I of course prefer that one over this one, but I honestly wouldn't care. So Stella is rose oil, peony, fresh tangerine, rose, and amber. And it's just gorgeous. I've got some other rose fragrances coming as well. I believe two that both of them, when I read reviews on them, people said they smelled like Stella. So I'm excited to get them and to see because in my opinion, I've never smelled anything that, that really, really smells like Stella. Um, I really haven't. So anyways, that is Stella McCartney, Stella. Okay. The next one is, uh, one that I, had to make a decision because I have three, I think I have three different versions of Mon Guerlain, so I just had to choose one. This is probably my favorite, um, but any Mon Guerlain would do. I wouldn't really be picky if I had to just choose. I would take any of them, but this is Mon Guerlain Floral. This is just my favorite of the Mon Guerlains. This one is gorgeous because it's a little bit sweeter than the normal Mon Guerlain. It's a little bit creamier. It's not um, it's not as light or as dry. Uh, not that Mon Guerlain is like any of those things, but in comparison to Floral, it is a little bit more of those things, if that makes any sense. But I love Mon Guerlain Floral. It's just gorgeous. It's, it's like Mon Exclusif, but without that like heavy butter note and it's not quite as sweet um and it's not like as gourmand it's not gourmand at all to be honest um it's just it's different but it's kind of similar it's hard to explain i'm sorry okay so mon guerlain floral is lavender bergamot mandarin orange lemon peony jasmine sambac ylang ylang neroli peach lily of the valley vanilla iris and sandalwood it's gorgeous. I could not live without some form of Mon Guerlain in my life. So that is Mon Guerlain Floral. Okay, this next one will probably not be a surprise to any of you either. This is just the original Chloe, um, or Chloe, Chloe Eau de Parfum. It's not the original, there is an old one. This is another one that people, there's always a lot of confusion around if I say the original or like because I just mean the original it's not the tangerine it's not the roses de Chloe it's not low it's none of those things it's just the original EDP um but my bottle looks horrific I need to get a silver cloth so badly and polish this poor thing up 
I could not live without Chloe in my life. This is the second bottle, um, or this is my second bottle. I adore this fragrance. People either love this or they hate it, and I adore it. I could not live without it. Um, it's one of my favorite florals, hands down, and I've. this is another one I've worn for years and years, and I just love it. So Chloe is Peony, Lychee, Freesia, Rose, Lily of the Valley, Magnolia, Virginia, Cedar, and Amber. And uh, it's just beautiful. It's sharp smelling and tangy and floral and gorgeous. I adore it. I, I love what it does with my skin chemistry. It's just a gorgeous scent. So that is Chloe, Eau de Parfum. Okay, another one I could not live without. This is one that... This is a definitely ride or die for me. This is an Etat Libre d'Orange, and this is like this. Um, I adore this fragrance. This is so yummy and so cozy and so, and not yummy in like an I want to eat it yummy. It's like yummy as in it just smells so good. Ugh, it's so good. I just love it. I get compliments every time I wear this too. Um, it's a gorgeous stunner of a fragrance. Um, a this is another one that people either love it or they hate it. I am head over heels in love with it. Um, it's hands down one of my favorite perfumes in my collection. It's unique. It's just everything that I love in fragrance. So like this is yellow tangerine, ginger, pumpkin, immortel, Moroccan neroli, grass, sorry, grass rose, vetiver, heliotrope, and musk. It's stunning. It's so stunning. It's one of my favorites. So that is Etat Libre d'Orange, like this. This next one will not be a surprise to anybody either. This is Hypnotic Poison from Dior. Um, this one, not only is it just a gorgeous fragrance, but it's so nostalgic for me. I wore this for years. This is another one that I've been through bottles of. And it was a signature for, I mean, all the way up until a couple years after I met my husband. Like, I think even after we were married, I was still wearing this all the time. I just love it. Um, there are so many memories associated with this because I started wearing it like in my late 20s and I wore it up into like my early 30s. Um, and I just, those were fun days. Those were fun, carefree, like fun times and I just love it so hypnotic poison, and not only that it's just a beautiful fragrance it's just gorgeous people try to make fragrances that smell like it and they there it's just you can't um there are fragrances out there that smell like it but nothing is really hypnotic poison if that makes any sense so Okay, hypnotic poison is coconut, plum, apricot, Brazilian rosewood, jasmine, caraway, tuberose, rose, lily of the valley, vanilla, almond, sandalwood, and musk. It's gorgeous. It's powdery. It's slightly floral. It's yummy. It's a little bit gourmand smelling. I just adore it. So that is hypnotic poison. This next one, again, if you've been watching this channel for any amount of time, you will not be surprised by this at all. Uh, I knew I would have to have a vanilla fragrance in my 10 for life, and I knew right away which vanilla fragrance that would be, and that is Orchidée Vanille from Van Cleef & Arpels. I love this. It is one, it, I mean, it's hands down my favorite vanilla fragrance because it's a gorgeous, deep, rich, yummy vanilla fragrance. It doesn't smell like cake, but it is sweet. It's got chocolate in it. It's got a dryness to it. It's got a little bit of a spice to it. It's just, it's like the perfect vanilla fragrance, in my opinion, which is crazy. I saw this, that they, I didn't know they carried this on Lucky Scent, but I saw this on Lucky Scent for $212. And I think I paid 54 bucks for it, 56 maybe, uh, from FragranceNet. So yeah, it's a stunner though. This is, mine is a tester and it has a tester sticker on the side, but I don't even care. Uh, so Orchidea Vanille is Mandarin Orange, Lychee, Bitter Almond, Dark Chocolate, Bulgarian Rose, Violet Vanilla, sorry, Violet Vanilla Pod, Tonka, and White Musk. 
and it's gorgeous. It is slightly powdery. It's just, it's everything. It is my favorite vanilla fragrance, hands down, and it lasts absolutely forever on my skin. Um, a lot. This is another one. People either really love it or they really hate it. Uh, a lot of people get really bad performance out of this guy, and it performs so, so well for me, um, which is crazy because usually my skin eats everything, and either that or things just don't smell good on me. So I just got really lucky with this one. Uh, so that is Van Cleef and Arpels Orchid Ave and Knee. Okay, this next one is one of the ones that I had to have an honorable mention because I honestly could not make up my mind. I knew that I would have to have a good amber fragrance in my 10 for life. And this one was hard. Um, I really could not make up my mind. So the first one that I grabbed and the one that I that I know I could not live without is my Ar Armani C Le Parfum. And this is a fragrance that I crave all the time. This is one that even in the dead heat of the summer, I will start to crave it. It's just the most gorgeous, slightly powdery, very slightly fruity, rich, syrupy, sugary, amber fragrance. I just adore it so much. I mean, the color of the liquid on this one just says it all. It looks... I mean, it smells as rich as it looks in the bottle. It's just a stunner of a fragrance. I would have never bought this on my own had a subscriber not recommended this to me because I'm not a fan of the Armani C line at all. I don't own any full bottles of any other ones. This one is perfection to my nose though. I adore it. So C is black currant, bergamot, incense, osmanthus, jasmine, amber, vanilla, benzoin, and patchouli leaf. It is an absolute stunner. I could not live without this. I mean, it's definitely a ride or die. Now, with that being said, this other one is two. This one would be hard to live without. I think if I had to choose between the two, I would go with the C. Um, but this one I had to mention because I love it. This is Lo de Ombre Extreme from Lardison Perfumers um, or Lardison, I don't know, I never say it right, but this one is such a perfect amber as well. Oh my gosh, but this doesn't have any of the fruitiness that C has. It's uh, not as syrupy smelling. It's not sweet or it's not as sweet. It's got a very slight sweetness but it's just a perfect amber fragrance. Okay, so this one is Amber Spices and Vanilla is all I could find. It's gorgeous though, I love it. It would be so hard for me to pick between those two, so I showed them both because, oof, I love them both. Okay, and then this next one as well, I knew I would have to have a good floral and my favorite floral in my collection, and this is the one that I would go with if I had to, like if I absolutely had to choose, this is the floral I would go with. This is Orlov by, uh, from Orlov Paris, and oh my gosh, is this the most perfect, sweet floral fragrance ever. And I did not realize it, but I have a little sample. I was going through all my lucky scent samples, just looking through all my little niche samples that I had, and I came across a sample that I had that I had never even tested of a perfume by X, is it X Nilo? I think is how you say it. I would imagine it's X Nilo. Um, and it was called Fleur Narcotique, or Fleur, Fleur Narcar Narcotique, <laughs> I'm thinking is how you say it. And I, t I quickly kind of swiped it on just to give it a, a little test. And I kept getting this whiff of the most beautiful, sweet floral. And I was like, gosh, and I had, because I went through my bag, you know, all my samples, I was swiping like little patches of all these niche fragrances all over. So I kept getting a whiff of this one and I was like, what is that? It's so gorgeous. And I finally figured out which one it was and it was that Ex Nilo Fleur Nar Narcotique. And then I realized it smells almost exactly like my Orlov, like almost exactly. Um, 
Uh, it's so good. I'm going to have to test them side by side to see if they really do smell just like each other. But if you know what the, that fragrance, the Ex Nilo Fleur Narcotique smells like, then you know what this smells like because it's, they're so similar. Ugh, but I could not live without my Orla. This is such a stunner of a fragrance. It's my favorite floral, hands down. So this one is Bergamot, Tuberose, Orange Blossom, Jasmine Sambach, Vanilla, and Musk. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous floral. So that is Orlov. And then the runner-up, not the runner-up, the honorable mention has to go to this next one because... If I, had, if I didn't have my Orlov, this would by far have been the one that I chose. This is Dolce Garden from Dolce & Gabbana. And this is just a floral that makes me so happy. It's just such a beautiful, yummy, milky, sweet floral. And I just adore it. Everything about this fragrance just makes me so happy. So if I didn't have my Orlov to choose from, this would have been the one. This would be the one that I could not live without. And I really couldn't live without it anyways. Um, I just love it. So Dolce Garden is Magnolia, Mandarin Orange, Neroli, Coconut, Frangipani, Ylang Ylang, Vanilla Absolute, Almond Milk, and Sandalwood. And I just love it. It's a beautiful, sweet, unique smelling floral. So that is Dolce Garden. And then this last one, I know you guys are gonna know what this is because this is my favorite fragrance on the planet. I could not live without it. I cannot even imagine my collection without this. It is my favorite fragrance, hands down. This is, to me, a masterpiece. And I don't call fragrances masterpieces very often, but this is a masterpiece. This is Zoologist B. Um, this is perfection to my nose. This is everything I love in a fragrance. It is slightly gourmand. It's incensey. It's slightly sweet. It's syrupy. It's got a slight bitterness to it. It's got a kind of hay, like a hay aspect going on. You can smell the drippy honey and the beeswax. It's everything I love in a fragrance. It is so unique. It's just everything. It's everything to me. So B is orange, ginger syrup, royal jelly accord, broom, heliotrope, mimosa, orange flower, benzoin, labdanum, musks, uh, sandalwood, tonka, and vanilla. It's everything. It's my favorite. By far, hands down, ride or die, could not live without B. I adore it. So anyways, that is Zoologist B. So anyways, guys, those are my 10 for life fragrances. Those are currently the fragrances in my collection that I could not live without, that if I had to choose 10 fragrances and get rid of all of the rest. These are the ones that I would choose. I love them all. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. That helps me out so much. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next one. Bye.